Hi, I'm Lisa Vogt. Welcome to my glass studio. In this video, I'd like to show you how to program a kiln. This is a Scott Firebox 14. 14 means the interior of the kiln, the kiln shelf is about 14 inches across. This is called a three key controller. Three key means it has three buttons. This, pro this particular kiln comes pre-programmed to do um, full fuse, tack, slump, and a couple a variety of other things. But you can program it yourself to put your own individual personalized programs into this controller. And I want to show you how to do that. So right now it's reading idle. This just means that the kiln is on and it's showing me the current temperature inside the room, which is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. So I hit the start stop button and it's in pro mode. Pro mode means I can introduce my own numbers in my own program. So then I hit pro again and it's telling me, this is telling me that it's in program number three. In this kiln in my studio, program number one is full fuse, number two is tack, and number three is slump. So I'm going to show you how to put in program number one. So it says three. I'm going to cycle. Oh, we're going to go this way. Down till we get to one. And then I'm going to hit the start stop button right here. Now we're in program one. Now it's telling me SE, looks like a six, but it's supposed to be a G. It says segment three. This program has three segments. Segments in a firing program are steps. The steps we take in order to fire the glass. So this has three steps. So, and that's where I want to keep it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start stop button again. And this is rate, RA, rate one. That's the rate of increase, the temperatures of the glass. This kiln will increase within a single hour. So it has a rate of 300 which is great, that's nice and slow. So I'm gonna hit start stop again. And it's gonna go up to 1300 degrees and it's gonna hold there for a period of time. But right now it's telling us the temperature that the kiln is going to go to. So you have the rate, then the temperature, segments, rate, then temperature, it's gonna go there and then it's gonna hold. Now we push it again and it's gonna tell us this is the hold time, it's gonna hold there for 45 minutes. After that hold, let's see what the next step is. We're gonna push the hold, start stop button again it's going to go 500 degrees, the rate means temperature, and it's the rate, it's the second rate, rate number two. So think of a firing program like stairs, you know, it's steps that go up or proceed gradually to get the process, project, and results that we want. So now we've got, we have a rate of 500 degrees, it's rate number two, 500, we're going to hit start, stop again, and it's going to go to 1465 degrees, and um, that's the temperature for a full fuse project in this particular kiln with System I-6 or um, COE-90. All right, now I'm gonna hit start stop again. And here's another hold. So this says hold number two, and it's gonna hold there for 10 minutes to give us the results that we want. Great, we've got our full fuse taken care of. Then we hit start stop again. Now the next rate, rate number three, is 500 degrees, it's gonna go 500 degrees an hour, it's gonna decrease in temperature and bring the glass down to the annealing point. Let's see what that is. And it's gonna go down to 960 degrees and then it's gonna hold there. So we have a temperature number three, 960, and it's gonna hold there for 40 minutes, which is the recommended time for this particular glass. So after that happens, uh, then it's asking if we're ready. If we are, then we hit this button and now the kiln is on and it's firing. So basically every time you work with this kiln, you're running through the firing program before you turn it on to ensure that you're using the right program, the one that you want. Now that you've seen the pre-programmed settings that I have for doing a full fuse in this kiln in my studio, I wanna show you how to change those settings. So we're back to idle. It's telling me the temperature inside the studio right now, which is 79 degrees. We hit the start stop button. We're still in pro mode, we'll hit enter. And it's in pro program number one, hit enter. As three segments, we'll keep that as three segments. But let's say we wanted two segments. We do the down arrow, boom, two segments. And then we hit the enter key. Now our, our first rate of increase, temperature increase, is our rate number one is 300 degrees. We're gonna leave that because that's pretty standard for what I use in my studio. So this temperature, we're gonna use the down arrow. And we're gonna bring this down to 1265. I could push it and it go a little faster, but then sometimes it goes right past the number that I want. All right, so 1265 is the number that we want. Hit the start stop, we're gonna hold there 45, no way. That would melt our project right off the mold. We wanna go here for 10 minutes. So let's hit this button. I'm gonna hold this and watch how fast it goes. All of a sudden it's like a little lightning bolt. 
Uh, oops, we want to hold there. Oh, come on now. We want to hold there at 1265 for 10 minutes. That's generally how long I hold a project on a mold in order to get the shape that I want and give the glass time to conform to that shape and give me a nice, even, um, uniform thickness throughout the whole project. Now we're going to hit the start stop button again. And it says it's going to go 500 degrees an hour. Now that we've done our slump, 500 degrees an hour down to 12, oh, 1465. Whoa, no way. We want 960. So we're going to bring this way down. I'm going to hold on to this one because we want to bring it down to 960, which is the appropriate annealing temperature for a project that would fit in this kiln. So bring it on down to 960. Ooh, you can see that baby going. Now it's starting to fly. Wow. All right, we're getting close. All right, loosen it, let up on that a little bit. So uh, let's go a little further. Again, this is a three key controller. Three key meaning three buttons, meaning you have to cycle. Oops, all right, passed it. Meaning you have to push that button and wait. It takes a little time to change programs. The other kilns with a full keypad you can just push your numbers right in so much faster, so much easier. But the advantage to this is you do have the pre-programmed settings. You do have the option to make put your own programs in there. And with the controller, you get very consistent results. It's also a great size. So if you have small space and you know um, you don't have a lot of room, that, and it also plugs directly into the wall. You don't need any special wiring. So it's a great entry-level kiln for, have, for really great results and, you know, getting some really nice projects. So my recommendation is, you know, if you're just starting out, this size and type of kiln is great. And all the manufacturers make three key controller kilns. The other nice thing about them is they're a little bit more affordable, a little bit more manageable to work with. So I hope you found that helpful. And um, I hope you, you know, check out my videos. And um, I've got a subscription plan where you can subscribe to videos monthly or annually. And, you know, check out my YouTube channel and check out my website for my videos and like, love, subscribe, uh, all the above. And um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Happy fusing.